Greetings everyone, this is Father Michael. Praise be Jesus Christ, now and forever. I want to share something with you about someone I was speaking with about does the devil exist? Um, Is there really a hell? This is something to think about, obviously, and a lot of people in our world might question the existence of hell, um, the reality of the devil as a real being, a real person. I'm an angel. And so, as we look at this question, I'd like you to think about, you know, if there's not a hell, if there's not a devil, then why would God send His only Son to be brutally tortured and murdered, spit upon, laughed at, mocked, kicked, punched, uh, stripped naked, pounded to a cross, um, pierced. Why would God go through so much torture and pain if we didn't have anything to lose? I mean, that's just something to think about is why would God, if if we're already all going to be, you know, saved or we're all going to heaven or, you know, God there's no such thing as hell, then then why would God go through the torture and the pain and the suffering that He went through? This is just something to think about because it, it doesn't make any sense. So if we have something to lose, namely everything, we can lose everything, then this is why God sent His Son, so that we don't lose everything, that we can have and gain eternal life in Christ Jesus. So I want you to give praise to God. See, when we start to open ourselves up to the fullness of reality, you know, not just this material, temporal world that we live in. Remember, these bodies that we're in right now, these bodies are temporal. We'll have a glorified body in heaven, but the bodies we are listening with right now on this podcast, these bodies are temporal. They have a beginning and an end. Because of original sin, right? Our bodies die. But the soul you're listening with right now, your immortal soul, is, e- is, is forever. Your, your immortal soul will never die. It has a beginning, but it doesn't have an end. So you will, for all eternity, exist in either heaven or hell, ultimately. And so... God sent His only Son so that our precious immortal souls, which He created, each one of us, in His own image and likeness, would be preserved from um, hell, that we could be saved, that we could enter into the full glory of heaven. And this is why we go to Mass. Because at the Mass, we are celebrating the event, the moment of Christ's life, his death, His resurrection, and ascension into heaven. We're celebrating the Paschal mystery right there at every Mass. And we're receiving this mystery. We're receiving Christ Himself, God Himself at every Mass. So we're entering into the saving work of Jesus at every Mass. For that matter, every sacrament that we participate in, um, we are entering into His redemptive work. So, this is why the word Eucharist means, right, thank you. What are we saying thank you for? Well, if we realize what we can lose without Christ, then we also are realizing what we gain with Christ. We gain eternal life. And there's no, I mean, our human minds can't fathom or grasp the, the immeasurable depths of God's uh, kindness and goodness for us and to each of us that he would send his only begotten son to go through the torture and all the pain and suffering that he went through so that I could be saved so that I could be with him forever this is again just will you allow will we allow this truth to affect us because see if you if you accept this truth you can't get up and be miserable and whining and complaining. When you get up in the morning, no matter how hard things are for you, you get up and you're full of joy. You are full of excitement. You are full of gratitude. Why? Because no matter what you're going through, no matter how heavy the pain or the cross you carry, you know that it's only temporary. You know in faith 
in Jesus Christ that you will one day live in eternal glory. So if you're going through something, if you're going through pain or hurt or suffering of some sort because of this world, because of our wounded natures, because of original sin, because of some sickness or illness or disease or broken relationship or some addiction or, or, or for whatever you're struggling with. Right now, God is saying to you, it's only going to be for a short while compared to the eternity and the great glory that I have for you in heaven. And not only that, that you can use the suffering you're going through right now through your power of your baptism. You can join it to Christ right now and you could actually be a part of the saving work of Jesus. You could actually help Christ save souls. And wouldn't that be an amazing blessing to die and to know that I shared in the saving work of Jesus by joining my life to His. And so my brothers and sisters, this is reality. This is truth. Not just the material world and what it offers us. This material world has a beginning and an end. But our souls do not have an end. And so as we enter into this day, as we enter into our lives, as we enter into our service, our work, our driving to work, our taking the kids to school, our, our dealing with family, relationships, friends, as we deal with our enemies, whatever we're going through, don't lose focus. You are a beloved son or daughter of God who has a mission to help Christ save souls. Remember, read Colossians 1.24. You make up for what is lacking in the sufferings of Christ, namely his body, the church. So we can make up for those who aren't embracing the mission of Christ. We can offer our sufferings in union with Christ to save souls. So my brothers and sisters, may Almighty God bless you and be with you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.